26 degrees. 26. You know how cold that is? That is super freaking cold. But it's a good day to do the um, chisel sharpening. Not gonna lie, kind of a crappy day here at the old homestead. I got the trailer working. I think today's the day that we are going to do the chisel video. Okay, there are two types of chisels out there. There are chisels that are fine woodworking tools that master craftsmen use to create some of the most amazing woodworking stuff on earth. Then there are chisels that people use to open paint cans with. Those are the ones we're talking about today. The ones that people basically use to open paint cans. So, this is not the correct way of sharpening a chisel. The correct way is probably putting it on the Tormec, uh, doing a slow water-filled grind, keeping the temperature down as cool as possible. And that is what we do when we sharpen chisels for fine woodworking. And I think I have a video of that on this channel at some somewhere on some, some point. Uh, this is for the guys that uh, scrape paint off of the garage floor type of chisels. However, we have done this in the past for war working guys and because they wanted a flat grind and the important things is to set your bevel straight it, it takes a lot of practice to be able to do this on a sander uh, you've got to set your bevel straight and that's somewhat difficult uh, with a lot of practice though you can do it also you need a ceramic belt which is very important because it doesn't create as much heat you also need a 120 grit, maybe 220 at the max, uh, because that also doesn't create as much heat. You have to keep it cool. Uh, the day I did this, it was 26 degrees, which I said in the in the video. Um, you have it's got to be cold. You need cold water, or I think I used Windex, and I like using Windex because I can see a bubble up on the back of the on the back of the chisel, so I know when it, it, we got to pull it off and put more on. I never, although you'll see steam coming off of it, it never went beyond the point where you couldn't touch it with your hands. It was never that hot. Uh, and that's, if you're going to do it, you can't kill the temper on it. So you have to make sure it stays cool. So this is the video. I'm not going to do an over a, a commentary on it. The commentary is basically this right here, telling you exactly how to do it. Um, this will show you how to do it. And just keep in mind that there are chisels out there that you don't want to do this to. Flat grind chisels, this is a great way to do it. And then people can keep it honed on a stone. Uh, hollow grind chisels, which has that little little concave on it, um, you can't really keep that on a stone very well. So, here's the video. 